Okay, hey you guys, how are you doing today? I wanted to show you one of my favorite books. It's called, Have You Filled a Bucket Today? And you guys might have read that in your classrooms before, but we're gonna do a little bit about the book and a little bit of moving our bodies today. So let's start with this book. Have You Filled a Bucket Today? by Carol McLeod. All day long, everyone in the whole wide world walks around carrying an invisible bucket. You can't see it, but it's there. You have a bucket. Each member of your family has a bucket. Your grandparents, friends, and neighbors all have a bucket. Everyone carries an invisible bucket. Your bucket has one purpose only. Its purpose is to hold your good thoughts and good feelings about yourself. You feel very happy and good when your bucket is full, and you feel very sad and lonely when your bucket is empty. Other people feel the same way too. They're happy when their buckets are full, and they're sad when their buckets are empty. It's great to have a full bucket, and this is how it works. You need other people to fill your bucket, and other people need you to fill theirs. So how do you fill a bucket? You fill a bucket when you show love to someone, when you say or do something kind, or even when you give someone a smile. That's being a bucket filler. A bucket filler is a loving, caring person who says or does nice things that make others feel special. When you make someone feel special, you are filling a bucket. But you can also dip into a bucket and take out some good feelings. You dip into a bucket when you make fun of someone, when you say or do mean things, or even when you ignore someone. That's being a bucket dipper. A bully is a bucket dipper. A bucket dipper says or does mean things that make others feel bad. Many people who dip have an empty bucket. They think they can fill their own bucket by dipping into someone else's, but that will never work. You never fill your own bucket when you dip into someone else's. But guess what? When you fill someone's bucket, you fill your own bucket too. You feel good when you help others feel good. All day long, we are either filling up or dipping into each other's buckets by what we say and do. Try to fill a bucket and see what happens. You love your mom and dad. Why not tell them you love them? You can even tell them why. Your caring words will fill their buckets right up. Watch for smiles to light up their faces. You will feel like smiling too. A smile is a good clue that you have filled a bucket. If you practice, you'll become a great bucket filler. Just remember that everyone carries an invisible bucket and think of what you can say or do to fill it. Bucket filling is fun and easy to do. It doesn't matter how young or old you are. It doesn't cost any money. It doesn't take much time. And remember, when you fill someone else's bucket, you fill your own too. When you're a bucket filler, you make your home, your school, and your neighborhood better places to be. Bucket filling makes everyone feel good. So why not decide to be a bucket filler today and every day? Just start each day by saying to yourself, I'm going to do something to fill someone's bucket today. Okay, you guys, so we read the How Do You Fill a Bucket Today book, and it's easier to fill your own bucket and other people's bucket when you are feeling good. And so we're gonna do some things today to kind of help your body feel good. And one of the things we're gonna do is to start with do, showing you guys some breathing exercises. All right, so the first one we're gonna do is called Five Point Breathing. You're gonna take your other finger and go outline your hand like this. And while we do that, we're gonna do breathing. So you're gonna breathe in through your nose and out. One, two, three, four, five. 
Next is belly breathing. Well, find your belly buttons, right? Put your fingers on your belly buttons. And when you breathe, you're gonna push your belly way out when you breathe in. And then when you breathe out, your belly's gonna go back. Let's see if we can try it. Ready? You're gonna breathe in through your nose, and your belly gets really big and then out through your mouth. Ready? Let's see if we can do that four times. Ready? Big bellies. Okay, you guys, one more. All right, that's belly breathing. Now we're gonna do balloon breathing. Okay, you guys, the last one is called balloon breathing. So let's pretend you have a big balloon. My balloon is gonna be blue, but you can pick your favorite color of balloon. And it's gonna be really big. We're gonna hold it. And when we breathe in, that balloon's gonna get bigger. And when we breathe out, the balloon's gonna get smaller. Are you ready? Let's give it a try. Ready, breathe in. Good job. Let's try to do four in a row. And let's see if we can hold our balloon down by our belly. Ready? balloon breathing. Whose body is feeling really good after all that breathing? All right, we're going to do some yoga poses next. Okay. All right, you guys, here are some yoga poses. We're going to start out with our mountain pose. Take some big breaths in and breathe out. We're gonna do three of those. And from here, we're gonna go into downward dog. So you're gonna put your hands on the floor and keep your feet on the floor. Try to keep your back and your legs straight. And let's do three big breaths. Okay, now we're gonna walk our feet back and put our bellies on the floor. And this one is called Cobra. You're gonna push your arms straight Stretch your back out. That's one. We're going to do three of those. You can come down. And then stretch back up. We'll do one more. Good work. And then from there, we're going to go into cow pose which is on your hands and your knees. And we're gonna, from cow pose, you're gonna arch your back while you're breathing and do a cat and then a cow and a cat and a cow. Okay, one more cat and the cow. Okay, lean back onto your feet and we're gonna do a big stretch. This stretch is called our baby stretch. 
You stretch your back out and reach your arms out and do three big breaths. Good job. And you guys can sit up on your knees and take one more really big breath. Awesome. All right, we talked about filling buckets today. We did some breathing and some yoga poses. So I am challenging you guys to spend the rest of your day trying to feel good about yourself, feel good about your friends, and filling buckets today. Let's talk about some ways that you're gonna do that. You can, to fill a bucket, you can be nice to a friend. You could give your teacher a hug, tell your mom or dad that you love them, help a brother or sister, and just really practice filling all of those buckets today. All right, you guys, because when you feel good, you can help others to feel good. All right, have a great day.